I have been working the marathon tent for the last three years, my husband and I. So he and I work the heat section of the tent every year. The heat section of the tent this year was very quiet. My husband and I were standing there about quarter of three and he said, you know, I think we should just leave. They don't really need us. Probably three or four minutes after that, we heard a kaboom. Immediately, this tent that was really designed for running injuries and heat cramps became a mass casualty center. Most of the people who lost limbs went straight through and then the people who didn't lose limbs but had injuries stayed and we monitored their vitals, we wrapped wounds, we talked to them, we kept them alert, we helped transport them to the ambulance. And at the end of the, the day, it just seemed like a blur. You definitely have a little curvature there. It might be the cause of why you're having that problem right there. The way that we're, we sort of responded to the, to the marathon bombing is almost coincident with a research project that we already had ongoing. We do gait retraining with in t runners with intact legs, but we're, we've got a research study in which we're looking at retraining gait patterns in people who've lost a limb and have a, a prosthesis and trying to help them to become more symmetric and to land softer. So this has been something that's been in process, but with the marathon and with the bombings, we are opening up the clinic to runners who have lost limbs and to retrain their gait patterns to provide these technologies and treatments to people with amputations. The mission of the Spalding National Running Center is to gain a greater understanding of the mechanics that are related to lower extremity injuries in runners in particular but even in walkers. So we're really interested in what are the factors, the biomechanical factors that are related to the development of overuse injuries that are related to gait. And then the other part of that is understanding how we can develop better interventions to address these particular issues. We have really probably one of the most modern high-tech motion analysis laboratories. We can study three-dimensional movement patterns with camera systems. We can measure three-dimensional forces. We can measure shock with accelerometers. We can measure muscle activity with electromyography. We can do it as a runner runs overground in an overground runway laboratory that we have. In addition, we can look at them as they run with multiple sequential foot strikes. We can look at things like fatigue and, and maybe retraining gait patterns with our instrumented treadmill labs. What we're doing here is we're addressing the underlying problem. Injuries in runners are related to how well aligned they are and how hard they hit. You're just going to pull this leg all the way off the ground, keep this one nice and straight. And so our interventions are very much focused on that. So we train people, we retrain their gait patterns to be able to get them to run more well aligned, as well as getting them to land softer. Lalissa De Sissa is the 2013 Boston Marathon champion. That marathon is going to be stronger than ever this year. I, more people are going to come out. People are saying, you know, we're Boston strong and we're going to come back at it. And it is our comeback.